Desmond. I go by Desmundo, 25 years old, born and raised in Inglewood, California, and I'm an artist. It wasn't until a year or two after high school that like I kind of was brought into like an art community called Pieces. I had started a project that I felt really invested in. I called the show Muse 21. It started with Lalo, a mentor, giving me like this used canvas. It was like the biggest canvas I had worked on up until that time. I ended up painting this girl that I had saw on Instagram. He had like one or two more used canvases of the same size. The next woman that I painted was also like someone I just happened to see on Instagram's Explore feed. I think once I was like on the second or third one, you know, Lala was kind of, we were like joking about it. Like, oh, you know, it would be really impressive if you like, you know, had like a collection of these. After we had talked about it for a little bit, I kind of was just like, you know what? Yeah, like, I think I could do that. teachers or people always ask you like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I remember thinking like, I would want to be an artist, but then I was just like, that's not practical. For my day job, uh, I work as an electrician. I've been doing that for just as nearly as long as I've been like taking my art seriously. Right now I'm working on the uh, Ram Stadium in Inglewood. I felt like I needed to work on my skills of like landscape and like capturing space. I felt like that would be like a really good way to exercise some new skills. And so I just started doing it at the stadium project. Moses and I started working on this project a year ago, like a year and some change year, now. Yeah. We kind of were reaching out to the community to find out what they wanted to have, you know, the story that the community wanted to tell. I always try to create works that beautify the community, that inspire those who see it. Try to create works that people will be invested in and that invest back into the community. We've been having students work with us both in terms of teaching them new skills, like with painting. It's like one of the very early renditions. Moses photoshopped these together using the images that the kids had created. Now we're on detail stuff. Sometimes the smallest details, they're, even though they're small, they can take more time. We need to tighten up all of the squares, making them super crispy and all the lines straight. This figure down here is Kimani, one of the students that we have. Kimani is one of the youth that I felt was kind of like a, an inspiring youth. He's like very inquisitive and very sharp-minded kid. We wanted to put him into the mural. It's kind of like one of those representations of the youth who will come up. One day this will be like, you know, a community for him. Right now is very much so like getting back into just like trying to develop new skills, try new things. This girl in particular, I think her name is Emily, I'm not sure. I found her page through another artist that I follow. I think I ended up developing a preference for painting these strangers because it allows me to be a little bit more objective. The first time I tried to paint someone that I knew and really cared about, like, it was very frustrating. In my mind, I knew the essence of what that person should be like and, and how it needed to look and be presented. Really, these are all like projections of myself. When I do these paintings of people that I know they're like strangers, they're all just like mirrors to me. Sometimes people see me do these things and just be like, why would you paint me, you know? To these people, like, like I am a stranger and and that was like kind of one of the really interesting things about my last series is that it just like kind of like highlighted the oddity of all of this social media stuff and how everyone's just out there in the open and, and I'm trying to convey like this seemingly intimate deep thing that I'm experiencing when I look at these people and put it in the context of something that's like this public media space and how do you have an intimate moment in, in such a public space with a stranger. The way I see it, artists are like a naturally occurring phenomenon. All it is is just like humans trying to express consciousness. Art is just a byproduct of, of that whole experience of just being alive. People will dig it or they won't. It's not really up for me to decide.